In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add an enemy to your game. Now I've gone ahead and chosen an animated B character. I found this on opengameart.org. So I've downloaded this, unpackaged it, and I've ended up with a little animated B. So there are five frames in this animated sprite, this top one here. So all I need to do is to drag those five frames into my file system area like that. Now I'm going to add a new scene. And in my scene, I'm going to select other node and it's going to be a kinematic body. In my kinematic body, I'm just going to double click and rename this as B. And I'm going to add a child node, which is going to be an animated sprite. Back to my B, add a child node and a collision shape 2D. With my animated sprite selected, you see over here the frames are empty. I'll click on that and select new sprite frames and then click on here. I'll drag these five sprite frames across for my animated B. I'm just going to set the speed here from five frames per second. I think 10 would be better suited. And this is a looping animation as well. Click on the collision shape 2D. I'm just going to zoom in here so we can see the B a little bit clearer. And the shape for the collision body here, I'm going to select as a rectangle and just increase the size of this rectangle shape here to encompass most of the B. I think that should be fine. I'm just going to press Command S or Control S to save this scene, save it as B.TSCN. In my B scene, I need to add a script and create. The first thing I want is a variable for the speed of the B. I'm going to set that as 100. I need a variable for the direction the B is traveling in. I'm going to set that to one to represent to the right. And then I'm going to have a variable for the velocity. And that is going to be a vector two. And we'll just leave that empty. I'm going to create the function, which is going to be my physics process. So physics process delta. And all I need to do in here is to set the velocity for this B. So the velocity dot X is going to be equal to the speed. That's going to be multiplied by the direction. So all we have here is the speed is set at 100 and the direction is one. So 100 multiplied by one is 100. It will be traveling to the right. Now by changing the direction to negative one, we would have speed of 100 multiplied by negative one is negative 100. The B will be traveling to the left. So just by flipping that direction, I can change the direction of the B. To make the B move, all we need to do is call the move and slide function. So move and slide, and we're moving and sliding with velocity. If I go ahead and save this, I go to my level one scene. And in my level one scene, I'll just make sure that I'm on the root or parent node. I'm going to instance the B scene, double click. And I'm just going to drag that and drop it down here. I can now play that scene. Now you can see the B. B is traveling long and it should hit the wall. Okay, it won't go any further. So what we need to do is detect when it's hit the wall. And when it does hit the wall, we want to change the direction. Let's see how we can do that. So go back to the B and go onto this script. Now what we can do in here is test if it actually hits the wall. And there is an inbuilt method for doing that. But what we need to do first is in this move and slide function, I can pass in another argument here. And we can see we can define the up direction, which is a vector two, and we can set the up direction for this game. Now for this particular game, the up direction is actually just up. So in here, I can say vector two dot up. Now, as soon as I've done that, I now have a method open to me called is on wall. So in here we can say if is on wall, and if it's on the wall, what do I want to do? Well, if it's on the wall, I want to change the direction. So I want the direction 
to be equal to the old direction multiplied by negative one. Let me just run through and show you what's happening here. So by default, the direction is set at one. We're testing if the B is, if it's hit the wall. So the B currently is traveling to the right. If it does hit the wall, we change the direction to negative one. And then the velocity in the X direction is going to be the speed of 100 multiplied by negative one, which means the B will be traveling to the left. If it hits the wall again, we're going to ch change the direction from negative one. We're multiplying by negative one, which gives positive one. Let's go ahead and play that. So the B travels along, it hits the wall, and it should move in the other direction, which it does. The only thing we need to do is to flip over this graphic. So this animated graphic here, we need to flip it over. So all we need to do in here is to flip the direction of the animated sprite. So we target the animated sprite and dot flip H and we put that equal to not animated sprite dot flip hedge. Okay, let's play that and see what happens. Okay, B travels long, hits the wall, and it flips over. Now the other thing is the animation isn't playing yet, so let's go over to the animated sprite, and we'll just click that as playing, and now we can click on play, and there we have the bee animated, hits the wall and travels back. When it hits the wall over here, it should flip around again. And there we go all the way back.